Hello everyone, Darth Snowbee here. I've had some time to think about this, and one of my subs of mine, when we were having a chat on Facebook, asked this question, and he actually kind of wanted me to address this in the video, and I give a shout out to, to Mass Panther for suggesting the idea. It's about the Legends banner, which is something that's very touchy amongst Expanded Universe fans. You know... The Legends banner, which is on the on every one of these reprints. Of course, you could still get non-Legends banners books. But it's more they're becoming more and more difficult to find, the non-Legends banner. And ironically, the hardcovers, like this one, for example, are going up in price because of that reason. So non-Legends labeled books you know, may go up in value, and you know, at least the hardcovers anyway. But what does the Legends banner mean? Because some people may look at it differently. Let's just use, every, like, there's like three arguments that I can come up with that I've heard for the past two years what the Legends banner means. One, at one hand, some people see it as an insult. That it's just another thing rubbing it in your face that what you that the company is basically mocking you for reading something that isn't canon. Of course, there's another thing I can add. Some people like myself are irritated that it kind of ruins the artwork and the original covers. By the way, this is one of my favorite covers for the expanded universe. And I think the Legends banner ruins it because some of the books where the color is lighter in the original, well, you know, darker, is now bright as fuck. Like Shadows of the Empire, which I don't have, a, I have a non Legends banner for the paperback, looks terrible. But of course, it's not a big deal. As long as we could read the books themselves, it doesn't really matter. Well, there's another one where people see it as the seal of quality for the people who are like myself, who loathe the new canon for everything that, that it stands for and everything that it represents. And for books we don't own yet, or we just want to replace the our beat up copies. You know, we know for sure that with the Legends label, that it doesn't, that that isn't Disney canon. That's Legends. And, of course, for newer readers, if we're trying to get people outside the movement who we recommended a few books, but they don't know where to start after the ones they've read, you could... They'll know immediately the differences between Legends and Disney canon because Disney doesn't have the Legends label and the shape of the paperbacks are different. So, yes, now, of course, here's some other things. The Legends label, which I think is how they should do it, is on the very bottom for the Epic Collections. Now, the thing about, about the Legends, which is what I think some people I like to bring up, should you buy the Legends labeled books? Honestly, if you want your verse, voice to be heard, you want the, the people, the investors, that, that they see the sales numbers to know this is what sells, you're going to have to support Legends new, regardless if you can loathe the company of Disney. I mean, I didn't want to, I, I'm still at this point, but I was at a point this year where I didn't want to give him money, period. For nearly six months, I didn't give Lucasfilm my money. Some of these trades are really hard to find, and not to mention, if you did not get them back in the day, they could be pretty pricey, and the reprints are the only chance you've got. But, the, 
But it's, however, it's unknown if these, the more obscure ones will be reprinted. Like these two comics here. Now, what's the problem? Well, I don't think it's that big of a deal when I think about it in retrospect. I mean, it does make it easier to, quite frankly, tell the difference between the new stuff and the old, especially if you're not that knowledgeable about, about the expanded universe. Though, I don't suggest if you already own a copy of Heir to Empire and you don't desire another one, that you're content with your hardcover copy like I am, or your non-Legends labeled one, don't buy them. Don't, just don't, in my opinion, don't blindly buy Legends books if you already own them. Unless your copy that you currently have is beat up or it's falling apart and you need a replacement, don't do it, in my opinion. Don't blindly support Legends just because you, you're, you, you feel like you're obligated to do so. You're not obligated. You're, honestly, if you're going to support Legends, support stuff you have not read yet. Examples. A lot of people who read the Expanded Universe... They either stick primarily to the comics or they stick primarily to the novels. If you've stuck primarily to the comics, don't rebuy the comics. Rebuy the just buy the novels. Some of the stuff you have not read. If you have, if you're like myself, who actually reads the novels more than the, than the comics, buy the comics. Whatever it's digital, whatever. If you're like myself, who prefers getting anything physical. Buy the epic collections as they come out. I know some of you may be like me who are impatient that want to read the whole story. But you support you get to read material you haven't read yet, and you get to support the movement at the same time. In my opinion, if you're gonna support the, the, the legends, you know, universe, to support it getting continued, it's much better. Especially if you aren't like Matt Wilkins or all those hardcore Star Wars fans like my, like ourselves. Don't get, I don't even have even half of it. Trust me. I have, I, have, I don't even consider myself a hardcore fan. I consider myself moderately hardcore. I don't consider myself super hardcore. But, in my opinion... To make collecting the expanded universe to, to be as enjoyable as possible, don't just buy it right when a, when a new canon book comes out. Buy it because you want to. What if what's use the Thrawn covers, for example? If you're content with these covers, like I am, don't just unless you're a hardcore collector, don't just buy them. Just to support the movement. Just don't do it. Honestly. Because to me, this is my personal opinion. Some people may not agree with me. I honestly think that some people, I think, may have, may have lost sight of what, our, what, what we're trying to accomplish. To some degree. The Legends Banner eh, is kind of a bittersweet thing to, to embrace. But if new books do get published, whether hardcovers or just paperbacks, which I'm in the camp that prefers hardcovers, you're going to see this, this thing on it. And we're going to have to get used to it. We can't just... As much as I hate the Legends banner, at least I hate it myself, You don't, you're not even going to, unless you're actually staring at the book more than reading it, you're, it's not going to matter. Of course, in my opinion, if I were to do the Legends better, I would do it on the side only and not have it right here just to reinforce that it's not canon. 
I don't know. But to be honest, how we look at it this way, they could have just simply discontinued all of this completely, not allowing these stories to be enjoyed continuously by new readers. Most companies, as, as, as much as I hate to say this, would not go this far. If they didn't do the legends better, I believe they would have put these books out of print. They would have just let it go out of print. Of course, they will go out of print, the legends, if we don't support them new. So, I propose support any new legends book that comes out if when it gets continued, or any legends book that you have yet to put in your collection buy it brand new don't buy it used buy it from bars and noble or from a retailer buy it from your preferred whatever you prefer to use to shop buy it new that is the best way to send a message to the people at lucasfilm that we want more legends doing a billboard and do all the other things is is all well and good, but for those who are in the feds of supporting legends, at least the bat because the legends better, just stop. I was angry at one point about the legends better, but to be honest, I'm done. Be honestly. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'm more interested in completing my collection than worry about some some thing on a book because I'm not going to be looking at that most of the time. I'm going to be looking at the pages whereas I'm reading it. Now, I will end it with this. The Legends banner, it sucks. I will not lie. I don't like it either. But think of it this way. Think of this, in my opinion, as, a, as the seal of quality. If it makes you feel better. Don't think of it means it's non-canon or it doesn't count. Don't think that way. Think of it as this, that the quality seal. That any of these books that you read, you're guaranteed a good read. Of course, not all of them. That have the legends better, are you know, are, are deserve the seal of quality, but for a book like this or the New Jedi Order novels, or the I Soul of Republic comics, when you see the legends label for these stories, you know you're getting something good. So just think of it as the seal of quality. It honestly, if it makes you feel better. And that's all I have to say. So for my fellow fans, that's your answer that you're going to get from me. Tell me, how do you feel about the Legends banner in the comments below? Tell me your thoughts. And is there any other ideas you guys have for any discussions? It doesn't even have to be about Star Wars. I know we've had some bullshit we've, had, we've been having to deal with for the past week regarding... Well, I'm not going to talk about it because it's a hard, it, it's not something anyone really wants to talk about. I'm, after that video, I'm done talking about politics. There's nothing I could do, but I could do something for, for the Star Wars fandom, at least the expanded universe fans, and be a voice. Because if I'm not a voice, who will, who will be? Yes, you have people like Matt Wilkins. Yes, you have people like Jeremy. Yes, you have people like Dylan. But I feel like we need more people on YouTube to speak about anything regarding Star Wars. My final thoughts, I'm just gonna read I'm just gonna re reiterate what I've said, repeat it just one last time. Think of it as the seal of quality and be done with it. I just don't think it, it's, I don't, honestly, when I see this, 
I don't see it as, it, oh, it's not canon what you're reading. No, I don't see it. I don't look at it that way. I look at it as this is something that you're going to enjoy. That's how I look at the Legends banner. And I think you should too. This is Darcenovia over and out. The Max Panther, just giving you another shout out. I hope you like the answer I gave you. And that's pretty much it for this video. May the Force be with us all. Despite what happened with the presidential election. Let's just relax. And have a good day. And good or good night. Whatever time it is when you're watching this video. Peace out.